Excellencies, senior officials, colleagues, thank you for the opportunity to present my organization, the Commonwealth of Learning, or CALL. Let me explain who we are and what we do. CALL is an intergovernmental organization established by Commonwealth heads of government when they met in Vancouver for Chorgum in 1987. Ever since, we've been in beautiful British Columbia, which makes us the only Commonwealth intergovernmental organization that is not in London. Our mission is to help Commonwealth member states and institutions to use technologies for expanding access to education and training. Call believes that learning is the key to sustainable development. Learning must lead to opportunities for economic growth, social inclusion, and environmental sustainability. This aligns us closely with goal four of the 17 sustainable development goals identified. This standalone goal on education focuses on ensuring inclusive and equitable quality education and lifelong learning opportunities for all by 2030. The global community is concerned about the availability of financial resources to achieve the targets identified. As we know, finding adequate finances will always be a challenge. Harnessing the potential of existing and new technologies can help us to achieve learning for sustainable development in a more cost-effective manner. Let me demonstrate this with our work, which is organized in two sectors, education and skills. As countries achieve success in providing universal primary education, there are still significant barriers preventing many young people from entering secondary education. Open schools can provide flexible learning opportunities through the use of distance learning, which uses a range of technologies from print to the internet. A call study shows that the Namibian College of Open Learning costs only one-fifth of what it takes to put a student through a government school in that country. Call is working in 22 countries to promote open schooling. Here is a young woman from Bangladesh who says, and I quote, I left school at the age of 12. I am 22 now and have three children. I went back to school so that I could help my children with their schoolwork. Unquote. Well-trained teachers are critical to improving the quality of education. Call uses a range of technologies, including massive open online courses or MOOCs, to train and retrain teachers. In partnership with the African Virtual University, Call offered a MOOC for teacher training, in which over 1,600 teachers from 10 countries enrolled, making this a very cost-effective option. Improving access to quality higher education continues to remain a priority for many developing Commonwealth countries. CALL's Commonwealth Executive MBA program is offered in 11 countries and the 27,000 people who have enrolled in this program now have improved access to livelihoods opportunities. Commonwealth Ministers of Education directed CALL to establish a Virtual University for Small States, or WASC. Over 53,000 persons have been trained under this initiative in 31 small states. Environmental sustainability is a central concern for many of these states. Here is a graduate of the WASC program on sustainable agriculture at the National University of Samoa. Skills development is a major priority for most governments. Working with the Ministry of Education, Nauru, Call supported a training program on working with concrete 
where 167 young people qualified and this has opened up livelihoods opportunities for many of them. Millions of farm families do not have access to learning in developing countries. Call offers a new approach called the Lifelong Learning for Farmers. This unique program has lifted thousands of farmers out of poverty and for every dollar invested, income and assets worth $9 have been generated among these farmers who became lifelong learners using basic mobile phones. Call leverages its impact through partnerships. UNESCO has identified a high-level competency framework for teachers and Call developed the complementary resources for teacher training. Here are the graduates of the Commonwealth Certificate in Teacher ICT Integration in Antigua and Barbuda. Call recognizes that the achievement of gender equality is central to its agenda of learning for sustainable development. These are the farmers and extension officers at a gender mainstreaming workshop in Jamaica. Many governments have introduced tablets in their schools, but what is also needed is the three C's, connectivity, content and capacity. How do we reach children under this tree who are far from the electric grid and internet connections? Aptus, or the classroom without walls, is one possible solution. Call has developed it by using readily available and low-cost components, and it costs about $100. Aptus does not require power from the mains. We can use solar chargers instead. It does not require any connectivity. We use a wireless router. And we can use open education resources to load this device with thousands of videos and textbooks of quality content. All this enables teachers and students to access good quality digital materials through this device. Here is the Honorable Minister of Education Vanuatu who presented Aptus to his officials for deployment in remote island schools. In fact, during the 19th CCEM, Ministers commended the key role of the Commonwealth of Learning in driving innovation. These, in short, are some of the things we do. Call commissioned an external evaluation to assess its impact over the past nine years. And the report says, and I quote, Call has had a major impact on individuals, institutions, and community-based organizations is highly respected, flexible and nimble organization. As we have seen, learning will be central to achieving the sustainable development goals. Let me propose something here. We could possibly think of introducing a parallel forum on education in the wings of future chogams. Call has been mandated by Commonwealth Heads of Government to support education and learning through the use of technology. And we will be honored to facilitate this proposed education forum. It's there for your kind consideration. And with that, let me thank you for your attention and for the contributions that we receive from your countries. Thank you very much. <laughs>